Hi Ari, it's Dravsnir, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we doused some braziers in Shadowhold. Today, we are going to do the quest, you wish to speak. A Final Blow. Unfortunately, I see the only way to stop this threat to Felwood is a frontal attack. There is no other way into Shadowhold, and I have no means to teleport you inside. The straight path down to the bottom is the only way, and I also know... Who you should seek out. His name is Feldan, Shadow Lord Feldan. He is the mortal in power down below. He is the head of the serpent. Kill him and his two succubus servants and return to me. Feldan is the one making packs with the Legion. He must be stopped. May the eternal sun Alright, so it looks like we have to deal with Feldan. I wonder he if he is Goldan's brother. <laughs> but here we go. That'd be interesting if Feldan was Goldan's brother. And this is, this is one of the reasons why I like this quest is because it kind of uh, foretells what is about to come to Azeroth. Clearly the Legion are trying to hide in the shadows inside of Shadowhold. But we are able to find them and take the fight to them in Outland eventually. Blizzard did a really good job of uh, adding some, I forget what they call it, the word for it, but adding some, like, I don't know, sneak peeks or, you know, uh, I, first, I guess a sneak peek into the future of the game. They do that with Deathwing. They talk about Deathwing in Classic. They talk about the Lich King. You can actually hear the Lich King in Naxxramas. When you're fighting KT. Or I think when you defeat KT or something like that. or before, Actually, no. Right before you're about to fight Kel'Thuzad. I think you hear him talking to the Lich King. So they had pretty much all of the expansions mapped out up to Cataclysm. And then they were after Cataclysm, they were like, okay... Um, I think Cataclysm was supposed to end this game, but we're not going to end the game. And we're going to create Mr. Pandaria, and we're going to start going back going back in time and doing time travel stuff. <laughs> Which I don't know if that was a good idea, but uh, we will see. We will see what happens with the story. I, they have a lot of opportunities at the moment to uh, really change the story. And make it interesting with Shadowlands, so I'm actually really interested to see what happens with Shadowlands, to be honest. Alright, so let's deal with uh, Jade and our Guardians here. I also thought it was funny that we got rid of the Braziers for pretty much no reason. Like, all she did was just go like, okay, let me look in. Oh, this there's a guy in there that I want you to get rid of. Okay, you gotta go back in again. <laughs> Like, if she just said, like, hey, go into Shadowhold and just wreck everybody in there. That would have been uh, probably better. Because now we have to, like, you know, travel back, fight everybody that gets in our path. Like, like this, uh, this Jade, Jade and our cultist. Alright, let's head in. I'm gonna sneak by this one. We're gonna try to sneak by. All right, looks like we snuck by. So let's uh, run down. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to run, but we're gonna put down a trap. And we're gonna fight this enforcer. I wanted to do the good old run by. To uh, Fain Death. We also changed our keybind to Fain Death last episode when I was talking about keybinds. It's now G. And our, uh, our Bestial Wrath and our Rapid Fire on mouse buttons now. It's not a really, really a big deal, but some different. Okay, so we're going to try to get to Feldan as quick as we can. There's, 
And we're also going to go a little bit deeper, I think. We're gonna try to find, uh... Find the Legion... Dreadlord. Who is, uh, behind all this. Let's see if we can pull something off here. Oh, no! Oh. Good. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to dismiss Pet. There we go. Sorry about this Tigger, but it must be done. So I don't want you pulling the entire place. And we're going to do a little jump down. We're going to... Geronimo! Run by. Call out our Pet. Deal with this Enforcer. Hopefully this is the right way. I think it is. Pretty sure. Not messing around. Oh, we gotta deal with these slimes. The slimes! No! Not a fan of slimes. Probably the most an annoying, uh. One of the most annoying knobs in the game. They're not as annoying as harpies, but they're annoying. So we're gonna have to feed uh we're gonna have to feed Tigger soon. Probably feed him after this fight. We use some bestial wrath as well. Why not use some rapid fire, get some damage going. Might as well use the rest of this. Rapid fire and bestial wrath. Yeah, get him! So that's good. Now we can feed Tigger. Chicken. Oh my gosh. Oops. Let's uh, have a drink. Use faint death. That's one thing about changing up your keybinds. Your brain has to get used to it. It takes some time. But if they are uh, placed in, in a good spot where it's sequence as well, then it's worth the, the hassle, I think, of trying to learn, learning, like, trying to get that, you know, muscle memory going again. Probably should have went for the imp first. I always forget about that, fighting warlocks. Mistake, no. Join in the Legion. That just shows the power of the Legion. They can unite everybody together under one banner. No matter how many differences they have. Alright, so this is an interesting spot here. There's a guy in the middle there, Trey Lightforge. It's actually a quest where you actually have to save him here. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to put in some work here, guys. We don't have that quest, though. I don't know if Alliance gets it. I'm not sure if the Alliance get this quest or not. All right, here we go again. Party time. Let's deal with Rakaya. It's one down. I think it's like the hardest person to fight, and she turns into stone after. I'm gonna take a picture of her. She looks kind of interesting. 
think Tigger will be okay. There's a lot of numbers going off. Oh, whatever. I think Tigger will be alright. Actually, Tigger's actually probably going to tell me. <laughs> He's getting launched at. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just think it looks cool. Oh my gosh, getting knocked in the air. Go get this guy down. Oh, she's ran out of mana. I'm gonna deal with this minion. Go. Alright, so let's see how Rakai is doing. It's kind of weird how she, uh, just stands like that. That'd be a cool little pick. There we go. Alright, so let's deal with this. Doesn't relate to the quest at all, but... I think it looks better than, like, the pick we would have got, because I would have just took a picture of the orc or what, or what's his name, Feldan. But yeah, I'm surprised. There's like a quest where you save um, this guy here as a horde player. And you, you, you help this night elf out. At the, and she's actually at the Emerald Sanctuary. Alright, let's have a quick drink. I think you like bring him back to life. He was about to be like sacrificed. Did we loot her? I don't think we looted her. gave us some coin. Thought she would have something else on her. But yeah, I think the reason why the Alliance don't get to do it is because she doesn't want to, the Alliance to know about it. Because she's uh, somewhat uh, somewhat feels guilty about what happened. I don't remember the story completely, but I remember there was a feeling of guilt. Yeah, you can see this place, like, it goes forever. Like, look, it's like, we're, we're over here. We started up here. Okay, so let's, uh, I guess we may go this way. Alright, so let's see what's up here. I think we gotta go down, to be honest. Who's that guy? Ulathek. Do we have to fight him? No. But we will. We will fight him anyways. It's a rapid fire. This could be pretty rough. Got everybody attacking us here. Our Tigger is a tank. But I think, um, I think we should go after Ulathek next. And then I'll trap one of these guys. Go. Looks like it ran out of mana. Trouble. Get on this guy. And we'll pop a bandage. We got this little crappy minion shooting me. Do you have any health pods? Gotta have some. Go. Shoot up! Oh, my ticker should have aggro. They're all just hanging out in there, having a chat. The trap and trap rolled in. We got the blood red key. We already have that. Pretty sure we already got that. Yep. Okay. So let's drink up. And then we'll uh, keep going 
further and further into this shadow hole until we find Mora, Salia, and Shadow Lord Feldan. I think these waters are kind of... They're not the greatest. I have to find some better ones. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to deal with this guy. He doesn't know who to shoot. We just keep getting deeper and deeper. Makes you wonder when you're in here, like, how deep does this place go, or does it ever end? Alright, this seems to just be like a big pit. Nothing going on there. And this used to be a night elf, uh, place for the, for the night elves, I believe. It's probably like a graveyard, or a place where they bury, bury, bury people, maybe? I don't know. Look who it is, the Shadow Lord Feldan. Yeah, this place could be a real challenge if you're like level 52, 53, early 50s. We're kind of just storming right through it because we're 59, but... It is what it is. At least we get to check it out. So yeah, as you can see, Feldan Fel has two succubuses. One by the name of Sally and one by the name of Mora. Guess that was his uh, reward for joining the Legion. Got to have control of two powerful succubuses. But now it is time. Time to fight, Shadow Lord Feldan. Right, let's go in. Teeing off. Let's get a little AOE going on there. Drop a... There we go. Let's see which one we're going to get now. The purple one. Trying to whip me. And that's it. So we got to make sure we get his head. Last thing I want to do is forget about that. There we go, we got his head. But we're going deeper. The fight does not end here. Which way do I go? So I'll go this way. I think it's this way. Pretty sure. Do we want to go to the top up there? Or do we want to go down? Just want to check. It's down there. Nothing. Oh, we got a little imp. A little imp shooting us. I don't think there's anything down there. Seems like it's just a pit of slimes. Okay, so there's this. How do we get over there? Oh, we gotta go this way. Pretty sure. Is that correct? Fight this guy? 
yeah, there it is, a little bridge. Now I want to see if this guy's an elite, an elite. Because in classic, he's an elite. And I always thought it was interesting that they didn't, they never really told you to go and uh, fight him. But why stop, you know what I mean? If you're already this deep, you want to see what the end looks like. Okay, so that should be enough mana for us. Let's see how many of these demons we can just stroll by. And is he here? He's got to be here because I'm the only one in this place. What the heck? There he is. Lord Banalow. We're going to... We're gonna try fighting them, guys. We're gonna try our best. We're gonna get rid of these clowns first. And he is an elite. I'm happy that they kept him as an elite. This is why we came here. See, if we were level 52, no chance we could fight this guy. But today, we can. And uh, you actually fight him. He's he's actually used for a quest. I think he's for the Warlock quest. That's who they would want him for. So we're going to have to deal with that imp. I'm going to have to use a couple of bots. Use uh, Troll's Blood. Okay, uh, buddy's Netherstorm. He's going to help me out with a quest on Flag Carrier. Kind of uh, got his name on there. <laughs> I don't know if hopefully he doesn't mind. I don't think he minds that much. But uh, yeah, cool guy. Been playing, been his friend for like, I don't know, a couple decades now. And uh, he's the guild leader of Soup. We helped, we uh, built that guild together. Me, and, me him, and uh, my buddy Dan. Yeah, he's now taken over the reins. And he's done a pretty damn good job. And the guild's still going today. I'm happy that he kept it going. Alright, so let's go do this. Lord Banalow. Or Bane, Bane Hollow. Alright, let's go. Going hard. Going hard right from the big from the get-go. Oh yeah, we got this guy easy. What the heck are you doing, dude? You're not gonna catch him. Oh, okay, maybe you are. Should I Okay, we're gonna let let Tigger do his damage. Oh Tigger, you're dying, dude. Oh, this guy does a lot of damage. Oh, we actually got him. Can I res him? No. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Okay, we're getting to round two. He's, he's beatable, dude. He's beatable. We're getting for fighting him again. Clearly need all of our cooldowns. But yeah, that was crazy. Like, let's see what he was hitting me for here. Um, shadow Shock, 808 Shadow Damage. A lot of Shadow Damage. Not too bad. Mistake was I... Uh, I didn't let Tigger get aggro. So, it's pretty much my bad. But we gotta get this fight going pretty soon before this, uh, that Erdan guy spawns. Another Dan. <laughs> a lot of Dan warlocks that work for the Legion. <laughs> okay, there we go. There 
Erdan, Feldan, Goldan. I don't know if there's any more. Okay, we gotta wait three minutes for rapid fire. You think we need rapid fire? Let's give it a try. We sent Tigger in. I'm not gonna use uh, Beastial Wrath right away. Okay, one, two, three, be sure wrath. Four, five, six. I think we're fucked. Max range, max range. Put a little t little dot on him. Heal, Tigger. Probably should have had that up a little earlier. I can really go into him now. Curse of Tombs. Yeah, he's dead. There's no way he's living. Heal, Tigger. Tigger. Wrecked. Wrecked! There we go. Look at that, it looks pretty cool. Defeated the Dread Lord. Lord Bane Hollow. And uh, Tigger went down. Good thing we can revive him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was awesome. Never did that on a leveling character yet. I don't think I've ever defeated Lord Bane Hollow ever. Because every time I come here, I'm like way too low of a level, and I'm like, yeah, this guy's way too high. Probably need like a group to fight him, but we beat him today. All right, so we're not going to walk out of here. It's a pretty long journey, so we're going to hearth out. And we got everything we need, and we are going to turn this quest in. Now, I think uh, that is a good way to um, end our journey in Fellwood. I think next episode we will go into Winterspring for a little bit. And then once we get a couple bars away from 60, the plan is going to be to go try and fight uh, Emperor Thorazane. I'm going to try to get a group as best I can. Um, that may mean that the episodes may not... Um, depends on how long it takes me to get a group and when I can form a group. I'm going to ask Thunderhold first if they can help me out which is uh, the guild I'm on and you've gone to Grobulus pretty cool guild told me to uh, ask because I told them about this idea earlier and the guild leader said yeah just ask when the time comes and um, yeah it's almost time so I'm gonna ask them if uh, we can get a little group together and uh, go in and defeat Thorazane Emperor Thorazane, I should say. First, we're going to get a little bit of Winter Spring in. Hopefully, we can get a couple of cool quests chains going. Or, uh, probably not. I'll probably get, like, one. Because we are, like, how many bars away? Set only seven bars. So, yeah. Probably not possible to get it all... All completed. But we'll get a little little taste of Winter Spring. I, I I did a lot of Winter Spring on uh, on the Druid. I noticed on the Druid I was able. To, it's just longer, right? Because it's the, the XP isn't reduced. How may I aid? Final blow. Without Feldan, the Shadow Council will hopefully lose focus and start infighting. They will struggle with one another for control and hoard assets for future plans. That will be an opportune time to devastate them. And there are demon slaves. Well, little did she know there's a guy named Old Dan. So there's a, his, his backup's already there. Earth Mother be praised, Trap and Trav. Thank you. This is a great day indeed. The Shadow Council will be hard pressed to, to scale to the same levels of power they once held with this blow to their hierarchy. You have done a great thing this day. Alright, so we're going to pick up some leather gloves here. Ancestors, watch over. Let's check out these leather gloves. Pretty good. 94 armor, Agi stamp. Yeah, it's much better. So we're going to put those on. Nice little upgrade. And next episode, we will be making our way to Winter Spring. That is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.